Welcome back to Broken Triad. Yes, we see where this takes us. Hmm. Ah, uh, this door opens when a fireball goes from one dog head to another. Right, we need to open that somehow. That's what the button is for. I have to open this door. Oh, thank goodness. <sighs> Safety and an opportunity to get out of here without having to go through all the tunnels again. Oh, wait. There's more? There's another? That's the central room. I couldn't. I could see from the other ones, but there's, there's two barriers at least. Ah. Let's read the notes first. Right. The following is a recollection of what happened to me in the Keeper compound. The day I got involved was the day I noticed a book missing from the library. I looked up the term's title, The Book of Elimination, and remembered that I had seen Keeper Leonard carrying around an odd book with his name some weeks ago. Being the young, over-eager librarian that I am, I went to his quarters, knocked, and recklessly opened the door. There was nobody inside, but on Leonard's desk I noticed a large open tome, which, you guessed it, happened to be the one missing from the library. I reached for the book, but when I touched it, an intense sensation went through my entire body like an electrical shock. A flurry of disturbing images flashed before my eyes, and seconds later I found myself lying on the floor. Fortunately, I managed to get back onto my feet and stumble out of the room before Leonard returned. The images I had seen followed me into my sleep, and in the middle of the night I woke up drenched in cold sweat. I left my room and headed for the washing closet, but when I passed the door to keep Elena's quarters, a sudden sensation of dread overcame me. An inexplicable force urged me to go inside and grab the ominous book on the desk. Then I heard Lennon's muffled scream coming from the other side of the door, and a second later a pain pierced my skull as if my mind had been set on fire. Indeed, when I regained consciousness, a faint odour of burnt paper hung in the air. Leonard apparently hadn't left his quarters, otherwise he'd have stumbled right over me. Not daring to enter Leonard's room or to report the strange incident to somebody else, I returned to my quarters. I felt tired but oddly relieved, and when I lay on my bed I fell asleep almost instantly. The next morning I saw Keeper Leonard up and well as if nothing had happened. However, I noticed that he was wearing gloves and there was something very different about his demeanour. He had always been a very timid person whose best friends mainly consisted of books. Now he seemed unusually confident and almost intimidating. In the following le weeks, Leonard went on several research trips, which also struck me as odd, but Leonard I had known wasn't the kind of person to go on solo expeditions. Nobody I asked seemed to know what he was researching, but coming from a librarian, my concerns were largely ignored. I never dared to speak to Leonard personally, there was something dreadfully unnerving about him only I appeared to notice. Several times I secretly searched his quarters during his absence, but it was only a month later that I discovered the secret passage in the wall behind Leonard's bed. Check the bookshelf to your left. What I found in there made me realise what was going on and where Leonard's latest excursions had led him, Arkford. By the time I discovered his personal notes, Leonard had been away for almost a full month. I knew I had to act quickly, and I left the compound immediately to head for Arkford. When I arrived, the city had already been overrun by Nyasal's wrath, but at least I managed to save you from the fire. Keeper Aleph. Bookshelf to my left, oh yes. So this is a replica of Lana's room, is it? Divided triad. If a demon is too powerful to be imbued into a single object, an experienced mage can still trap it by dividing its essence into three items. A divided triad. A triad typically consists of a book, a sword, and a hammer. Each of the three items gains a part of the demon's traits. This is a difficult spell which leaves no margin for errors. A single mistake can weaken the binding considerably and cause the three items to eventually gain control over the respective owners. The Divided Triad spell can be reversed if the items are used to destroy each other. First, the sword needs to destroy the book. Then the hammer has to be used to shatter the sword. This is called a Broken Triad, which would bring the demon's full form into this world. For this reason, it is important that at no time a single person owns more than one item of the same triad. Oh, right. Wait. So that explains the hammer the high priest found, I guess, that this demon 
was put into long ago by the mage. The sword destroying the book. I think that happened back in uh, uh, Ominous Bequest. The prequel to this mission. So Broken Triad is, is about the demon now wanting to find the hammer and use it to shatter swords. That's why that explains why they wanted to come to Tempest Isle. Because that's where the hammer is. The sword, I had the sword, right? I was busy chopping people's heads off with the sword. The Arsenal's Triad items, the book split in two. Oh wait, two books. The Book of Souls and the Book of Illumination. Impute demon traits, trapping and devouring souls. Okay, so the Book of Souls was killed, but the Book of Illumination still exists? So wait a minute, this is a triad made of four parts? This makes no sense, guys. You stupid mages and all your nonsense. The sword, it's a, it's a dormy cost. Wrath and cruelty. The hammer, it's rhetoric. Attracting souls recently deceased. Doesn't sound like a thing I should be carrying around if I find it. Souls of the recently deceased, or even the distantly deceased, seem to be too attractive to me anyway. Another sextant? <laughs> Who'd have thought that the Book of Illumination could enlighten me in this most literal sense? In the middle of the night, a fervent urge befell me to get up to my desk and open the book. No sooner than I had yielded to this compulsion, the volume went up in flames while I was holding it. In my naive foolishness, I screamed as I felt the demon enter my body. Well, I realized there was nothing to fear. There are so many ideas going through my head right now that I need to write them down. The asshole has embraced me with burning arms and is now part of me. He showed me the hooded man called Garrett who had found the second half, the Book of Souls. The thief destroyed it with a sword the very moment I was holding the Book of Illumination, and thus he freed both halves of the asshole's imprisoned essence at the same time. I need to find and contact Garrett as soon as possible. There is much to do. My path is clear now. I can hear the third item of the triad, the Warhammer Drewarek. Scream with rage. For several decades it has been imprisoned inside an underground chamber on a remote island. Its full slice has been shining for so long that hundreds of unlucky souls got trapped on the island as well. Their restless spirits are surrounding, uh, surrounding the island like an eternal storm, and any ship that sails too close is doomed. I have to find a way to get there without being subjected to the storm of Tempest Isle. Furthermore, Drawarik's stony confinement is sealed and can only be unlocked from the inside. To open the inner chamber, I need somebody who can walk through walls. Unfortunately, ghosts don't make reliable accomplices. My research on Tempest Isle has led me to a town called Arkwood. The local museum's library has some writings about the island, apparently. I think I've struck gold. It seems Drawarik was brought to the island by a sailing merchant. In a letter, the merchant describes the island as a paradise of precursor origin, and he muses about how the people of the Lost City got there without ships. This led me to an inventor called George Bolson, who's been doing a lot of research on precursor technology. One of the artifacts he's studying is some sort of lens that was found in the ruins of Carathin. The same lens can be seen on a drawing the merchant made of a structure he saw on the island. My intuition tells me I've found the means to travel to Tempest Isle. Garrett has accepted his path. When everything is prepared, he will abandon his physical body and follow the false light. The hammer will fill in the arsenal's presence inside Garrett's spirit and lead him to the inner chamber. Garrett's ghost will open the chamber and then return to his body so I can extract his part of Nyasol's essence. Oh, it will, will it? You think that Garrett is going to be a willing accomplice? No, you probably think that Garrett's going to be an unwilling accomplice. Ah, uh, sigh. So this is unfortunate. This gives me more backstory that I really didn't need. It doesn't affect anything I'm going to do. That doesn't give me a way out of this damn necropolis. Well... Okay, so how do I open that? How do I move that thing out of the way? Do I just, like, get up there and do it? Can't really get up there, can I? Through there, then, is that? Is that where the other creatures I heard hung, hang out? So, how do you open that? Got a picture of two circles on it, but. I don't know. Still looking for green pillar number two as well, and 
I don't know if I just haven't seen it or if I should have seen it. Well, there is the downstairs area across there that I have not been to yet. Another spirit fight arrow appeared in there. And place this place where the footsteps I'm hearing are from. Are they uh, respawning? That's where I came in. I'm hearing footsteps above me. And I do know that one of those guys comes in through that doorway, and I'm just not sure when. I don't really, there he is. I don't want to be walking into him face first. And he just comes and watches the fire for a bit. Like, I haven't don't haven't been told anything about these these spirit fire arrows, so I don't know whether I'm supposed to be using them as a convenience or saving them for something important. I know there's plenty of other There's a lot of other uh Room. You got one off on me. Out of healing, and now you're. I mean, maybe I should be trying spirit fire arrows here. See, that's right. Um, that was definitely a waste. To use them all, but let's charm them. I see. Uh, yeah, that goes. So, two or three of my spirit fire arrows. I don't know. Oh, well. It's a dagger, but I can't pick it up. Oh, there's another room. Okay. Well, you know, it was a waste, but I'm not going to reload just because it was a waste. Finally. Two, when the scarab starts pushing the sun up into the sky. The hare will be the first to notice the dawn when the scarab starts pushing the sun up into the sky. The perceptive eye will see the light and the duck will start his flight towards the dirt gods. Oh shit. Shit. And enough of you guys in your insolence. Oh 
Okay. Another star gem. There's a lot of these things around. The Jackal's Gate. When the funeral procession follows the last path south, it will pass the Jackal's Gate. As depicted on its doors, the gate will only open when one Jackal can announce the procession's arrival to the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that much was obvious. The question is how to make that possible. The answer is not up here. Okay. And I don't know where the answer is. We have a uh, enemy that patrols along there, don't we? Still has a rosary. What is Brother Reginald's rosary doing for me? What's the incense for? What's the translation about? Danke. Say, we can say thank you in Danke in German. We can say hello. We say, yeah, me. Hello, yes, it's me. Thank you. Uh, the will ref. Re uh, I don't know. I don't know whether the down to the passageway to the left or down the passageway to the right, and I would like to know before heading out. So I'm going to sit here and watch and wait for a bit. Take a sip of water. Here they come. Well, bad news. They were down the passage to the right. Bad news for them. I'm getting tired of sneaking. So, you know, now they can just be here. At least I know what the spirit fire arrows do now. I wouldn't have known if I'd used it on one of them. Well, because there'd only been one and used it, it would have been like, okay, it makes a thing above their head and it doesn't kill them. It would have seemed quite useless. So I guess I was pretty lucky to actually use one when there were two enemies attacking me at once. Where's this go? Ah, okay. There's not much out there. Oh shit, there is stuff out there. Spirits of the dead blind by, okay. Let's just, let's just go hide in a keeper place, shall we? Whatever Keeper Leonard told you about Nyarsal's origins, he very likely skipped over a few essential parts so you wouldn't get suspicious. Most importantly, the mage apprentice who summoned the demon several decades ago intended to create a divided triad. Wait, 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 several decades ago? The mage's place I found was like hundreds of years old, if not thousands. Surely the precursors. The Precursor's place fell after that mage, and that was hundreds of years ago, at least. <sighs> this timeline, I don't know. I don't understand this timeline. Okay. The intended to create a divided triad. Yes, that's obvious. Requires a book, a sword, a hammer. To build back mine, the three objects gained influence over whoever owned one of them. Giving each item away to another merchant was the last shred of sanity the Precursor could muster before he killed himself. He knew that the triad's items needed to be kept as far apart from each other as possible as they desired nothing more than being reunited so the triad could be broken. From this point on, the items travelled through many hands, constantly trying to convince their owners to search for the other objects. When the book fell into the hands of a scribe, it persuaded her to split it into two halves. This way, each volume could travel in a different direction while searching for the other items. The scribe named the first volume the Book of Illumination, and the second one the Book of Souls. I know you're quite familiar with the latter. While the Book of Souls eventually found its way down into the halls of the Dawn Mages, the Book of Illumination fell into the hands of the Keepers, which means it got shelved and soon forgotten as another ancient tome collecting dust in our vast library. Until Keeper Leonard picked it up, that is. Yes, 
Garrett, please take my personal medallion with you. I've imbued it with a glyph that can transport you directly to the sanctuary at any time, no matter where you are on Tempest Isle. This very room used to be the place where I slept and studied. Just like you, I had been a kid with no parents and no home. I often snuck into the city's public library, not to steal, but to read and escape reality, if only for a few hours. Eventually, a keeper found me in a section commoners were not supposed to see, and my passion for books brought me into their circles. Now that I think about it, maybe it was my fascination for worlds crafted by the mind that allowed the Sanctuary Glyph to create this place. As I'm writing this, I've discovered where we both need to go. In the western section of the necropolis, there is a long, straight path leading south. The Kerulians simply called it the Last Path. At the end of this path is the inner chamber, which leads to a large tomb containing the priests and healers' graves. All the evil surrounding this island emanates from this tomb, and that is where we can put a stop to it. Your objectives. Gain access to the inner chamber in the necropolis by following the last path southwards. Yes, that was pretty obvious, I guess, that it needed to be done. Um, because there was really nothing else in the necropolis to see. And there was that path that was closed by some kind of puzzle. Okay, well let's just leave that door open. So now we can get here, there's one more... Well, at least one more area we can't access. Okay, so we can go back out that way. And, uh, we can get back to earlier parts. Yes, it's the two earlier parts. Okay, good to know, good to know. No healing, unfortunately, which would be nice, but... Um... I haven't seen, I don't think I've seen a single healing item out here. this lead? Can it open? It looks like it can. This is definitely a hole cut in the rock. How does it open? Is there a switch hiding in the rocks? No, maybe there's a switch hiding on here somewhere. Well, maybe I can only access it from the other side, but that would seem odd. Seems to be any kind of switches up here or anything, right? It's just rocks. Hmm. Well, clearly there is another secret that I do not know how to uncover. I saw a line there, I thought maybe it was a, a lever. <laughs> oh, kind of straining my eyes actually. This is not great. Okay, well. Maybe, maybe it is only accessible from the other side? I don't know. Seems weird that it's easy enough to get up there and discover it. Wait, 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 wait. Is it that? Is it that same gate? 
Uh, I mean, I've locked myself in here now, but it is that gate. Okay, good, good. Lock myself in here, but I can get to the sanctuary. Oh, okay. Hey, dead guy, don't mind me. You okay with me taking your stuff? Yeah? Cool, thanks. I'll get back into the sanctuary and get back out that way, so... It's not the end of the world. Alright. I am glad I figured that out, because... Suddenly struck me looking up here and seeing this again that... Yeah, that's the same That's the same size and shape. Actually, we should try this... Uh, keeper medallion, right? Aha! So I guess we need Leonard's one. Leonard's glyph, which was down this hallway. Right, yeah, this is at the end of the last path, right? Yes. I don't know how to access. But we have news of the duck and his friends and that's something but also didn't we well I just murdered this guy didn't I, I backstabbed him Was there anything else to find in here? Or was that it? Let's well open that again. I think that was it. I think we found everything there was to find. I'm... Find and use all the sanctuary glyphs on the island as an actual objective. That's weird. Okay, I just thought I saw something. Um, they do respawn. Okay. So wait, up here was just the the first one we killed when she spotted us, right? Was there anything else? I mean, there's this upper area. There's obviously something else. Some way to get up there. It's not out here. Is it? Doesn't look like it. I don't know what all this iron duck of the rabbit nonsense is about. We can only get up there by being up there and not by climbing from here, I don't think. Too high. Where is that anyway? Let's let's look. That's kind of east and west of here. South of us actually. like east and west way up above here. Uh, it's not it's not something out here. Well they respawn pretty often actually. Okay, so I can make use of those if I want to. Um What the hell do I what the hell do I do now?
this brings me close to this thing, but can I just like move it? I guess I can just move it aside, okay. On this side, but not on the other side. How do we get up there on this side? Is that wood? Oh, maybe that's wood. Let's hope that's wood. Nope. I'm gonna reload that. Don't want to waste another rope arrow for things that look almost like wood but are not. How are you supposed to? Uh, you're really supposed to. Why? No. Can't get up there in the first place to climb around. So how are you supposed to open that? Does it actually look like this? It's open at the top, which is interesting. Not helpful. Right, these side rooms is just where one of the keeper thinks it's a help. Can't get up higher from the side rooms, no, the roof is very low. Yeah, way too low. See, I'm not even sure if I was doing the other one right when I just walk up and prop it. I mean, it doesn't seem particularly right, right to be jumping on tiny narrow ledges. But the ledges are there, so... And I guess the pillar there is broken, so you can kind of inch your way along the side. Yeah, that one's very obvious. That is the right thing to do, but what about this side? If you look at how the ledges are arranged, um, you could maybe jump from there over to here with some difficulty. And you get to here by jumping from there, and you get to here by jumping from there, and you get to there from... Well, none of these places are actually possible to get to. I have no idea. And I don't think I'm going to get any better idea by looking elsewhere, but... What else am I going to do? Okay, that's where that guy was. This is the doorway that connects. That's sealed. You heard some noises, but they didn't come to investigate, so... So that's alright. We know we can get rid of them pretty easily now. Maybe I should use another spirit fire arrow on this fellow and get him to attack his friend down there and start cleaning the place up a bit. I mean, I don't know what your arsenal's going to do when he arrives, but it's certainly definitely going to be easier. You have fewer undead wandering the halls, right?
Wait, it wore off? It's not supposed to wear off and have you come chasing after me, is it? Go murder your friend. Oh. I see the problem. It wore off. But the wrong guy to... Maybe it hasn't worn off entirely, I don't know. Ah. No, not like that! You know what? Guess if I want to backstab, you know, get rid of you backstabbing it as much. It's going to be much safer. <laughs> than relying on very time limited. something here. Okay, it's start doing it for me. Alright. How did I not notice that when I came past here? I thought I looked in all those windows. Well, that could be useful, because that's five star items. I don't know how many more I need, if I need any more, but I have another one, if I need them. And I think that is this place cleared of, of nasties. To listen for a minute. But wait, the moonstone was was that needed at the lunar core or was that elsewhere? I don't remember. But even if that's the place cleared of enemies, it does not leave me with an idea of what to do. Not leaving us any idea. Wait, where's the upper area that I got to before? There was an upper area with walkways that came out above. It wasn't up here. Right, this is just a dead end, wasn't it? I don't remember. Maybe it was? No, it was just here. This was a dead end. Um, we had two walkways that came out, you know, either side of the room with the altar. Maybe it was up here. Oh, this is just where it was. Um, I'm confused. I'm very confused. The last path. This is well, this leads straight up with this. The lock, not a sign. That's the lunar court, right? And this is just where it was, which is the high priest's room, I guess. That's not the place I'm trying to find, not the place I'm remembering or misremembering. So where is the place that I'm thinking of? Maybe it was down here? No, because I didn't come down here for ages, right? It's above this room. How did I get up there? I came through that passageway there. How did I get there? That's west of here. Right, and then I went, climbed up that side, and there was another star gem in the room over there. It wasn't up here, right? This this went elsewhere. Spirit fire plays an important part in many of our purification rituals. 
Since its blue flames only burn negative spiritual energy, we use it to cleanse our dead. If a spirit fire has been burning for a long time, it can sometimes form crystals. These crystals are very fragile and burst into an ethereal cloud upon the slightest impact. We believe these clouds have similar effects as the fire itself, though without practical application we cannot go beyond speculation. There's a hastily scribbled note on the back. I discovered that members of the Dark Watch and any undead attack their own when they are hit directly by a crystal. This might be our only chance to calm the necropolis. Yeah, I missed that last time I was here. After I'd already found out what they did for myself, but okay. Glad to know there's an explanation. I read this one, right? The Jackal's Gate, yes. Do not know how to open the Jackal's Gate. The Jackal is being recalcitrant. That's how I came up here. That's closed. This is the Pillar of the Duck. No, it's a scarab. Okay. West of here, right? Yeah. So definitely not this way. Right, that just leads to the thing. Um, there's a pathway above my head now. How did I get up there? I'll take more of those, gladly, but... It's got writing, but I can't see it. It wasn't up here. This, this didn't lead anywhere. There wasn't another floor, was there? No. It only led to number three. And, of course, to that little secret. And indicative, indicative of another secret that I haven't found, but that's not not immediately useful. Now I've forgotten my, the relative directions of where things were. I mean, it's got to be east of here, right? I could get back up here, but there was... I mean, there was that pillar, right? It's like, can't, you can't climb that high. Yeah, I'm really not sure how you're supposed to get up here, because it did not feel like... This This is so fiddly, it did not feel like the right way to go. Such a fiddly air, just tiny. It's like a quarter unit. It's way too small to be expected. This is good, this is two. This is just solid, but I don't know how you're supposed to get up here. Um, without extremely fiddly man thing, which I do not trust. Well, I don't think I'm supposed to get through there. Uh, take more damage, why not? Why not? It wasn't through here, was it, that got me above the places? I mean, maybe. I don't think so, though. Sorry, mate. I'm just tired of wandering lost and sneaking while doing so. There was nothing in here, right? I mean, you had these. start wobbling, but they only wobble, right? Nobody comes out of them. I think it's just there to try and scare you. And there's just some loot. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a clever touch, I like it. I appreciate it, but uh... Oh wait, what was down here? Maybe it's down here. Um, ah, here we are. Wait, this... Still got voices here? I thought I'd cleaned this place out. I 
think they're just trying to spook me. So does this have any other secret... Oh, I see. Now there's more spirits flying above. Well, okay, they are trying to spook me, but... Yeah. And then this just had another soul gem, I think, and nothing else. I do not know. What's that? That's a skull I threw up there, I think. The skull of this guy that was patrolling over here. I mean, I can try my All Banners Must Die policy again. I don't want to die. Immortal Banners should be banned. Okay. At least now I, remember, now I know how to get back up there if I ever need to, which I don't think I do. I do not know how to get to where I need to go. I do not know how to open the thing. Right. Still impacting on the surface. Nice fireball though. Dynamic light on it and everything. How the hell am I supposed to get up there? Unless there's something stupid like one of these beams is wood and the others aren't. Which would be stupid. That's not wood. That's not wood and I already tried that one. Yeah, okay, they're not. The water is not the answer. I'm pretty pissed off by the opaqueness of this damn thing right now. I mean, I can't just shoot it open, right? Like a button? Of course not. Blast it with fire. No, because we're hitting it with fireball. If blasting it with fire would open it, then we would, it would have opened us by itself. Um... No idea. I don't even know what the incense is for. I've got two incense. All nonsense. Lots of nonsense, but only two incense. Uh, I don't know. I'm feeling like I'm going to have to go look it up. And if I do, I guess that means it's a good time to end the episode. Why was this room even sealed off? I guess it would prevent me learning about the hair. I have no idea what that's, those codes are for. Maybe that's maybe that's to do with the palace opening. You know what? We can find our way back to the palace, right? Let's let's take a short break from the city of the dead. Let's go back to the very first keeper glyph. Maybe we can get into the palace. Uh, where's the map? So we're here in the market. I need to go north. Uh, through the bars, yeah. our flamey friend here. I 
Um, this is the archive, so I need to go. Wait, I need to go east out of here. Wait, what? I oh, know we need to go north through the north through here, of course. Just bad because our other flamey Bill is here, but he doesn't seem to be too upset. Just hope that was quick enough. Then through here. Wait a minute. This way. There's a crane man who is here, okay. Did I put a moss here? I think I should. What do I know to say? Here, scarab, eye, and duck. I don't think that matches to any. I mean, it doesn't match to the symbols we got here, right? Well, we have hair. H A R E. <laughs> Scarab eye. And a duck. Well, we have a hair. Scarab an eye and a duck. It doesn't look like a duck. It's a bit too tall, but it might count. We can try it. What would that be? Jake Miha. Maybe, maybe that's, maybe that's his name, Jake. Um, Air. Scarab. I duck. Oh, that's a secret? Doesn't open the door, though. What? What did it do? Said found secret, but nothing happened. It's even more confusing. Well, I'm gonna end the episode here. Look up if that was supposed to do anything else. I don't know. And uh, look up what I'm missing in the uh, last path. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.